Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we've got something super cool to look at and it is the new DJI Mavic Air 2. Freshly in from the post office this morning. Haven't even opened it yet. Let's have a look. I've been excited to get one of these since the moment they were being uh, announced that they were going to be released. So I just simply had to get one. And the object of today's video is to just see exactly what it is that you get for your money. Okay, wow, first impressions. Obviously a DJI product, looks really nice. Yeah, really happy with that. Amazing how similar it looks to uh, the Mavic 2. Okay, let's see what else we've got in the box. Ah, the new controller. Wow, that looks nice. I didn't go for the Flymore combo. I went for the £769 version. Even so, I still think that is incredible value for, for what it is that you get from all the YouTube videos that I've seen so far and the reviews that I've seen so far. I still think that what you get for that sort of money is definitely a bargain. Okay, that looks like the end of the box. That's empty, I think. We'll move that to one side. Little box with a label on it called accessories. Let's have a look what we've got in there then. And I'm sure you guys know, to be fair, pretty much with having seen the videos you've watched, what you get in the box. But this video is going to be like an unboxing and like a comparison, if you like, to existing drones from DJI. I love the way they present their stuff. It's just, it's so classy. I think that's it. There's a little box at the end. What's in there? Nothing, that's empty, okay. Right. USB to USB-C lead. USB to USB-C. Have you seen an Apple lead yet there? These are the propellers, very similar in fact to the uh, existing Mavic 2 style of propellers, foldable push on and twist jobbers, really nice. I won't bore you with unboxing a million propellers but it looks like we've got a set plus a couple of spares. Some spare joystick controllers. As well as the ones in the box. Now that's nice, that is, because if you lost one of those in the field or on the job, you'd be pretty annoyed. So it is nice to have a spare set there. Huh. Why haven't we seen an apple lead yet then? Ah, hold on, what's this? Ah, oh, there we go, that's nice. Oh, look at that. I love the way they've done that. It comes pre-installed with the Apple Lightning lead on it already. Just goes to show that that's probably the most popular type of connector. So they've pre-installed it already in behind the controller. Familiar way to turn it on. Press once shortly, hold it down again, turns it on. And same way to turn it back off. That's smart, I like that. Feels really nice. Tripod mode, normal mode and sport button, smack bang in the middle of the uh, controller, you can't really miss that. I do feel like there's a lot more controller there to hold on to, that's really good. Again, nice and weighty. That's a battery charger. Uh, we've got some silica gel. Don't eat that. 
and some instructions which nobody's ever going to read until something goes wrong and then they're going to wish they read it in the first place. Controller comparison, this is my Mavic 2 Zoom controller, similar in width, similar in weight actually as well to be fair. I think I'm going to prefer the idea of having the uh, the phone controller on the phone on top of the controller. I think that's going to be a much better idea in terms of having to have it below the controller. And I don't know. Either way, this is still a very good controller. I think I just think they're two very good ideas. Okay, let's get onto the drone itself. Folds out in exactly the same way as the Mavic 2. That's really nice, tiny, tiny little motors. Really nice. Battery comes out in the conventional way. Wow, that's really on there. Oh, I think that's going to need to be charged to be activated. Wow, that's really nice. Half inch sensor in there, you wouldn't think it, would you? Wow. Okay, let's have a bit of a size comparison to previous drones. So it's quite a bit smaller than the Mavic 2, the new Mavic Air. Not quite as wide, not quite as long. Similarish in height, obvious weight difference, like massive weight difference. And the original Mavic, which is equally just a really good drone. I mean, I've had hours of fun flying this thing. I've really enjoyed flying it. It's a fantastic piece of equipment. But I'm also really looking forward to finding out something that's as better than the Mavic Air that has the similar control uh, radio control as the um, the Mavic 2. That's going to be really good to be able to have that kind of reliability, that link, that robustness. Um, something that's from looking at the specifications, arguably as good as the Mavic 2, um, but uh, in much more neater, compact form figure. Really good. Really looking forward to having a fly with that. Okay, that's the unboxing done. Now the next thing we need to look at is uh, weight comparison between all three drones. So the original Mavic 2 Zoom comes in at 884, 85 grams. The original Mavic 1 417 grams and the new Mavic Air 2 559 grams so taking a look at detail at the new controller now as I mentioned earlier the uh, the joysticks are tucked away nice and neatly in these little rubber sockets underneath Simply screw on, like so. Yeah, that feels quite nice. It's quite nice in the hand, actually. It's got these sort of um, moulded sections on the back that are covered in like a very high quality rubber. Give it sort of plenty of grip. Buttons are nice and easy to get to. Really quite, quite a smart looking thing. So in terms of phone installation, um, I happen to fly with an old iPhone SE just because it's a spare phone, it's small form factor, the battery lasts for ages and it's just ideal to have a bit of a spare phone really to sort of keep in my drone kit. The lead that I mentioned to you earlier is looped around the actual phone or tablet holder in the back of the controller. You pull the one side out which exposes the, the lightning cable. Simply push your phone into place like so. 
and then just simply attach your your lightning cable like that. That's that's a really nice. Like I don't feel that's going to fall out like on the previous controller. Sometimes if you sort of put it down or you knocked it or you moved it slightly, you'd feel that the phone's going to fall out. But I must admit, I don't think I don't feel like that phone's going to fall out of there. It feels really nice that it's it, it's sort of secure. Also, points to the note that there's no external antennas, which is great, you know, because on the previous one. Although they are, you know, just still a very good design, they are exposed. I've seen them break in the past. Uh, you don't always tend to tuck them away and catch them on the baggage and put them back in, but on this one, they're internal. Great idea. So, in conclusion, is the new Mavic Air 2 a good drone? Yes, it is, in my opinion. It is a very good drone. I have just flown it, uh, and it has got over half an hour recommended flight time it's got some incredible range it's got a fantastic camera it takes some fantastic pictures and it feels really good is it better than the original mavic air i would say yes it is having flown and owned a mavic air one then i would say yes it definitely is a, a better drone than that is it better than the mavic 2 no i don't think it is i don't think it's as good a um, control, I don't think it's as good a camera, I don't think it's good as it doesn't feel as well, it doesn't fly as well. I think the trouble that I've got is that I have been spoilt by owning a Mavic 2 because it is such a high quality aerial platform. Um, I think from somebody perhaps upgrading from just a Mavic Air 1, not having had any previous experience from any of the Mavic 2s, I think, yeah, great, do it, buy it, fantastic bit of kit, your mind will be blown, your world will be changed, it's incredible. If you're looking to sell your Mavic 2 second hand to then fund the new Mavic Air 2 and have some change, my advice would be don't do that, I think you will regret it. If you can afford to buy it as well as then yeah great stuff do it but you need to find a market for it you need to find a purpose for it but i think in reality it isn't going to replace the mavic 2 it is going to replace the original mavic air and i think that's probably about it really thank you very much for watching